Hey guys, we're back with another one. Lessons with Flex and Lex. I'm Lex the Ruler. And I'm King Flex. And we are here to talk about should your ex be able to dictate who your kids can be around? Yes and no. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Look at my life, man. That's lessons on lessons on lessons. I can't ya double lesson. Here's the lesson. Teach you a lesson. Teach me a lesson, baby. Big move. And we teach him big lessons. The loss ain't a loss, it's a lesson. Yes and no. <sighs> As a guy, we got a different eye on, eye on, on the situation than a female. So I'm gonna go first. Me as a guy, for my kids, I expect you to have them around somebody. But make sure you're taking that guy serious, that person serious. Don't bring them around people that you're not taking serious. Don't have them around too many people in and out and this, that, and the third. That's my only stand on it. Other than that, we keep it simple. I don't have an issue, because we're not together no more, and you're gonna find somebody else. And that person, Gotta be good for my kids. You know, this is a, a new journey for all of us. And being a blended family, you know, we make it the best. And obviously, we won't have like, awkward moments, but you know, we pushing through. And I can't express that much that I appreciate you, how you look after my kids as your own, and that means so much. So, it's stuff that I can't attend and do there. You know, these videos, you know, you grew me from a car. And you know, you the most for Jayla, we share her moments, you know. And I just want you to know, you know, words can't express again, you know. So keep your eyes closed, and you can open up. That must have been cool, Grace. Right there. No. Oh. So, he said as a guy, but I dealt with issues with where my ex wanted to tell me that I couldn't have my daughter around anyone else. Um, that's just different. That's that's a certain caliber guy. Not every guy thinks like that. There's realistic guys like me that understand there's going to be the next guy that come along, especially. And there's some women out there, too, who think that, oh, don't bring my kid around that girl or whoever it is, too. Yeah. I, I understand that at the end of the day, we're moving on. We're breaking up. Exactly. If you don't want that to be the case, then y'all should somebody should try to do something to make it work. If you never wanted your kids around anybody else. Honestly. Um, but some things you can't always say that make it work. Because certain situations can't work and you got to break up, right? So, all I ask as a parent, as a father for my ex, my past relationship, just who know who your person is you bringing them around and take them serious before you bring them around my kids. Yeah, like I, I don't think that, that, I mean, obviously to me it's reasonable. No it's reasonable to not want your kids around like a whole bunch of people, right? Yeah, like you don't want them to just be needing a, d a bunch of different people. This is my other thing. Is it that you don't want your kid around you, those people or should, do you want to meet them first? Like if you want to meet the person before they come around your kids or if like you're... I'm not big on I got to meet the, the guy first. You can bring him around, but once you know he's around and let's say y'all combining households and he's about to move in now it's time to meet but it's cool if y'all going on little dates you bring him out okay this is my you introduce him and they seeing him every day and cool when i gotta step in and meet him is when y'all talk about getting serious and moving in together and this that and the third that's when i feel it should be addressed to me well i think yeah. that if if any person in the situation is making a problem about their kids being around somebody else I think that the first thing should be like, okay, well, I want to meet them. And then as long as that's extended, I feel like you shouldn't be sitting there making an issue about it. Like mm -hmm. if the issue, I'm not really sure what issue can't be dispelled from meeting somebody, but at the same time, they might meet the person and be like, nope, I don't want my kids around that person. 
So still, just because they're just bitter and upset at whatever, they don't want you to be happy or whatever the case may be. So it's just really difficult because like, if you have a difficult ex who's just making things hard and just is trying to make your life hard, because I think that's a big part of it, like them just trying to make your life hard. That's definitely a big part of it. Just bitter. Like you said, everything you say, 100% right. I'm just never, me personally, flex, king of flex. I'm never, that's not my personality. I, I'm more realistic with with situation, that's it. I want you to move on and be happy. I want that for you. Just make sure my kids are happy too. Because I'm going to make sure on my side, my kids are happy with the next person. So I expect you to do the same. And if you can't, I'm more for taking my kids full time. So we ain't got to worry about it. Yeah, but, yeah, I just to say, I just think nobody should be dictating the other person's life At upon all. a breakup. At all. Like, why are you trying to dictate what my next move is? Like, is it affecting your kid in a negative way? Now, that's a different story. Good morning, scrub. Built you a little fort, huh? Fuck about your little fort, nigga. I hate you. I hate you too, little nigga. You ain't my. It does, yeah. you know. But if it's not, nothing's going on. If you're just living with these fears of the possibilities, that could be the case in any situation. Like, and you should want your ex to move on and be in something serious versus mm -hmm. just having different people coming in and out. No, I'm full. That's the baby's love. Yeah, like, dating in this and a third and a bunch of people coming in and out. Now my, or them being out all the my time. My daughter especially is seeing this like, no, I got an issue with that. Other yeah. than that. Mm. Uh, the ex so, should not dictate. The ex should, should not never. dictate. So. And, and, and I think that taking, the thing is too, like people want to be in control of every little thing. Obviously we have like so many fears for our children, right? Like in this world and the possibilities, the same fears that you have about your children with the potential of your ex dating someone else are the same fears that, and things that could happen if they go and they spend the night at a friend's house or do things of that nature as well right mm -hmm. so it's like you have to at some point like if you have a good co-parenting relationship and you're there about your kid and that's what it is you'll be able to get through that yeah, exactly like you'll be able to meet the people or have mm -hmm. them around if you're cool with your ex and you guys can like do things as a family still um with your new significant others and things like that like it could just make life so much easier yeah that's that's the simple way to do it everybody just be cool and cordial and that's it we ain't nobody got nothing to worry about but now if you want some how you call it got just beefing at it and for no reason most of the time i mean you guys are broken up so broke up for a reason so now <laughs> we move on and to be the best we parents we could be, co-parents we could be, and what comes first is them kids. Mm -hmm. That's it. So whatever it takes to make sure them kids is happy and don't see no, you know, back and forth, back and forth, extra, yeah. They, they they also you don't want to let them see the division between you. Like even though you're not together, you don't want them to see that like you guys can't get along and make sense of certain things. Mm -hmm. So when one parent is telling the child. Oh, I don't want you around this person. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't want you around, you know? Yep. And that child is going back and like, oh, yeah, I was around this person. And then they start acting funny towards that person. It gets crazy. Because the, the other, the, let's say, the, the other parent is saying, don't be around that person. It's just stupid. Then you're putting a kid in a whole predicament, and then now the kid is confused. And when you're not thinking about the kid, are you? You're thinking about yourself and your feelings. Right. And that's just like a really bad situation. Like it turns from you sitting there worrying about your child's safety mm -hmm. to now you're actually the one putting your child in a whole predicament because of your feelings and your reasoning. Like if you really break down, why do you not want that other, that person, whoever they're dating around your kid, you don't really have a solid reason, especially if you never met them. If you never met them in your life, you have no solid reasoning. If you didn't take the time, and even if you met them one time, be around them. Get around them. See what, how they are. If your kid is important to you like that, see how they are. Get around them. 
want to hang out want to not even hang out want to meet them like be around more see mm -hmm. how they are you can't know somebody from one meeting mm -hmm. you if you put yourself around you make your presence known mm -hmm. that person a lot of times once that's there that person wouldn't cross that situation you know what i'm saying like make your presence a thing but that comes with maturity maturity oh. mm -hmm. You gotta be very mature. Not even you gotta be mature. Period to handle them type of situations. To, to move handle on, kids. To handle kids and move on and understand that other people's gonna be around and this and the third. You gotta be mature about the situation. Not everybody's mature enough. No matter how old you are, you still bear. Still, you know. So. I mean, I think it's good to have um, bonus parents. If that's what, that's what it comes down to. Bonus I bonus, think yeah. that's fine. That's a whole nother perspective. You have rich dad, poor dad. If you look at that book, like that's exactly what it was. Like mm -hmm. one person can't always teach a child the whole perspective. That's mm -hmm. why I say it takes a village to raise a child. It's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. As long as it ain't no... Good, bad, or indifferent, though. Like, mm -hmm. good, bad, or indifferent. Your child is learning different perspectives. They're seeing, this is not what I want. This is not okay. This is okay. This mm -hmm. is whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to have all of that. Mm -hmm. So your toolbox could be full moving into this world growing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could have the whole... Yeah. So, don't be going hard on your ex about who they're dating and things like that. Just make sure... Like, just make sure you know that person is good. You got to do your due diligence to make sure that person is good. What is the time frame? Like, how long after you start dating somebody do you think would be permissible for the person to bring your kids around them? Like, what if you know it's serious? And I don't know. I want to give a time. Yeah, I wanna, that's why okay. I want to give it a time frame. You know as a person if you want to be with this person, if you want that person to meet your kid. You can't say, oh, you got to wait two years or six years. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, it, you know as being mature. So another thing about being mature, mm -hmm. you know the difference. Mm -hmm. There's no, really no time frame on that, in my opinion. And the, but at the same time, there's no way to dictate if it will work out either. No. So it's like, don't be hard on your ex. If that relationship doesn't work out and they end up in another relationship, I don't know, like, how... If you end up in four relationships in a year... <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying... I like, got a problem. Okay. So say that person... If it's the same person after a year, yeah. another year... Right. And then y'all break up. Maybe six months go by and now you're yeah, dating someone new. Exactly. But if you're in four relationships in a year and my kids met all of them or you have my kid around all of them. And, and ladies. Flex and, have an issue. I'm going to say ladies because I don't really know if guys do this. Flex ladies, is going to have an issue, ladies. Stop and, trying to introduce your kids and be like, oh, this is my friend. These kids know what's up. Or like, this is Uncle Flags. They know what's no. up. They know what's up. Stop playing around. Stop having trying to be... If you're introducing that person to your kids, just, like, you know, make sure that it's at the right timing. Don't yeah. try to mm -hmm. be like, oh, this is my friend because you feel like the timing isn't right for them to know that mm -hmm. you're dating they someone be new. Meeting them. Then they, yeah, they, they shouldn't be meeting, meeting them. If so, you're still saying this is my friend, yeah, yeah. Should've, 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 you shouldn't be meeting. Yeah. Right. I agree, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if guys do that, too, but... Mature guys, though. That take... That shit's serious. Yeah. Oh, mature yeah. guys do not do like, oh, this is my friend. They introduce one as yeah. their girlfriend. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's another episode with us. Comment. Definitely we want to know your viewpoints. Yeah, yeah we got to learn that. We got to, you know, put in the comments. We, we'll answer them on the next episode. Yeah, we love different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Stories. Tell us a story. Like, mm -hmm. let us know like, what your situation was. Mm -hmm. and. And don't forget the merch. You know, you see it. Bully Bully Camp. Don't forget the merch. This Bully is God is Dope. This is not our brand, but we this love to promote others. Now. Yeah. You know, something we doing light. Like. You know, we got to promote our merchandise and all of that. But another episode with King Flex. And Lex the Ruler.